you know, at least they could do is give us some symbol wins. You know, I'd like to see that cash for a double. Hey, we got a money bag. I guess we just have to ask for a symbol and we get it. There we go. Sorry I couldn't be here with you today, but I hope you enjoy this premiere. Hello everyone and welcome to OG Searcher and happy Thursday everybody. Now, as you can see, I'm not going live. I am doing this as a premiere instead. And the reason for this is, as you may be watching this right now, I'm sitting in a courtroom in Chattanooga, Tennessee because an ex-neighbor, and this is, and I'm putting neighbor, you know, loosely, it was somebody that was squatting in an old rundown house that sits behind my house. This actually has been condemned and tore down in the last couple of years. Has summoned me to court. You know, he's basically trying to evict me out of my house. And I've been in this house since 2014, over 10 years now. And it has to do with a strip of my backyard that was bought by the developer that used to be attached to the lot behind my house. And But I'll get more into the stories we're scratching. But needless to say, I'd much rather be here chatting with you guys and gals instead of sitting in a courtroom over a bunch of crap but let me go ahead and get these tickets all set up and we'll get to scratching on this book of new tennessee thousand dollar cash tickets so give me a moment and i'll be right back all right i'm back and let's go over this ticket real quickly and it is a match your number and win. There is a money bag as a wild child to win the prize automatically. There is a cash symbol to win double the prize. There is a thousand dollar money burst and a money roll to win everything. The overall odds to win on this ticket are pretty high for a 10. It's at 3.77. Now, these the ma maximum prize on this ticket is a thousand bucks. So it's kind of a, one of them boomer bus tickets. And, you know, I don't really like these per se, but I thought I'd go ahead and scratch a full book of them and for you to see and make your own determination if you play Tennessee tickets. All righty, so let's go ahead and let's symbol hunt our black boxes like we normally do. I may be able to, you know, that's pretty good right there. Okay. You know, we've played a few. Oh, there's my lucky number. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, it's got a zero. But, um, Miss Ping played a couple for her little boy Wednesday that you saw yesterday. And also, I did a few for our kind of like a introduction to the tickets that I did for you yesterday also. Nothing big yet. We had a few winners. 21. Well, I see 11. I see 31. I see 41. I see a 22. And I see a 20, but no 21. 48. There's 38 and 47, but no... And we get a 37. I think I said 47, not 37. There's Mrs. OG's old lucky number 13. And all we got is the Bass Ackwards 31. Richard Petty is on the first ticket. And all we got is 42, Miss Emma's lucky number. And 44. So no winner on our first ticket. So let's see what we can do on ticket number one. What are we looking for this time? 42, 12, 40, 46, 26, and 22. Now we get the 22. All right, so back to the story. Well, the long and short of it is the, there was, when I 
bought this house and it was brand new construction when I bought it. It was in a brand new little small circular subdivision. There was a house that is adjacent to my back property line that a woman that was close to 90 years old was living in and she had somebody that was a living caretaker keeper with her and supposedly she willed the house to him when she died now he initially tried to, well before she died let me back it up a little bit before she died the developer needed a little bit of extra land for the lots that included my house, my next door neighbor's house, and the house next to him. Well, the developer bought a little strip that was her property to extend the property lines on the three lots that he built the houses on. One of them was one that he was actually living in. Well, hey, we got our first winner with a 23 right there. Okay. But she, when she died, and we got another one right there with a 29. When she died, the developer tried to buy the house because he was going to build another new house on it. But, you know, it's right at the entrance to the subdivision. Let's see what we got our winners here, and then we'll get back to the story. We've got 15, and we got a 5, so that's a $20 double up. That's a good way to get the iceberg broke. On that, I'll drink another drink of coffee. Well... <clears throat> When he tried, when they tried to close on the property, on that house, the guy didn't have title to it. So there was a big rigmarole with that. You know, the developer, whose name is David, you know, had to sue the guy to try to get his money back. Which I think he got a little bit back, but not all that he had paid down in earnest money for the house. So now we're going to fast forward it for a few more years. Well, the guy ended up just squatting in the house. He was eventually evicted. And the city ended up tearing, condemning the house and tearing it down. So about four months ago, I get a certified letter in the mail saying that he, from this same guy, trying to basically extort me to pay him $300,000 or pay him rent. And when I refused to do such, then I got summoned with an eviction notice. So that's why I've got to go to court tomorrow, in a nutshell. I've got to go and prove that he has no right to evict me off of a house that I've lived in for 11 years and bought and, and actually refinanced. It's went through two different title searches. And, you know, he hasn't got a leg to stand on, but it's just a big nuisance thing that I've got to go and do tomorrow since I'm scratching this on Wednesday and the court date's Thursday morning. So that's, that's why I'm not doing the live stream tomorrow. And I didn't remember that until actually when I was recording Ping's Little Old Boy Wednesday. 33, 18, 34, 28, 43, 44. When we were talking about doing this book of tickets. And I said, oh crap, that's my, that's OG memory creeping in. So, that's why we got the premiere instead of 
the live stream. So forgive me, we'll be back on our regular scheduled programming next week. 46, 23, nope, come on, last row, 38, 35, 36, 11, and 14. David took the guy to court over when he falsely sold the house to David. The judge told him in the middle of his testimony that he needed to shut up because he was getting ready to implicate himself into a, an extortion crime. And... So, hey, we got another winner there with 17. So it's going to be interesting if he gets away with it this time or if they're going to do something about him, maybe arrest him, you know, because it's, it's definitely extortion, what he's trying to do. Okay, so just our 17 there. What we got? We got the our new prop. Winner, where's it at? We got us a snicker. Okay, ticket number seven. So, so far, seven tickets and two winners. There's Okay, so we got 33, 13, 36, 25, 29, or a 41. Or it'd be nice to see one of them symbols. 32. And I've got to be in court at 9 o'clock, so that means I've got to get up, oh, probably at 6, 30-ish. Because... Traffic is a mess right now trying to get into downtown Chattanooga where the courthouse is because of, you really can't go by the interstate because of all the construction they've got on I-24 at the moment. So I've got to go in the back way, which means going through a tunnel that I don't like to drive through. 14, 20, 24, 45, 15, 48. It's probably going to take me about, I would say, close to an hour just driving there and finding parking. Thirty-two, eighteen. 46, nope, we got 45, 13, another neighbor, we got 14, 15, 42 is the bass backwards, hey, we got us another winner though on the 15, in that same spot where that 19 was, 26, nope, 19, 49, we got 48, 23, 43, and a 28. So just the 15 all by its lonesome there. Ain't got money. There's the zero. We got us another $20 double up. It's okay. Now, ticket number nine. And we go back to back. Let's go back to back for a boom. We got 28, 19, 49, 21, or 31, excuse me, 27, 37. I'm too old to go through aggravations like this. 
I don't have the patience for stupidity anymore. Last row, 48, 39, 21, 50, and 43. Thirty-five to twenty-nine, thirty-four, nineteen, thirty-eight, fifteen. It's time for a symbol win. What y'all think? You know, at least they could do is give us some symbol wins. You know, I'd like to see that cash for a double. Hey, we got a money back. I guess we just have to ask for a symbol, and we get it. There we go. Now, on our earlier play with the other tickets from the series, we did get some money bag with matches with the numbers, too, on the same ticket. And there was one that you may have saw where we did get two money bags on one ticket, too. So those are potentials. 27, 37, 17, and a 21. But in this case, it's just the money bag. Is it time for... Oh, that zero's way out there. Come on, let's see another zero. We got another zero. We got another zero. We got us a $100 honey bun right there. All right. Isn't that pretty... Fantastic. Let's get that honey bun on the ticket. There we go. Wow. That's a good way to get us on the board with a good winner. Okay. Let's zoom it in a little bit more. There we go. I think that's good. Can we go back to back now? We got us a boom. I'd like to have seen one more zero there, but that was a pretty good one to get the 100. So let's say we need a 25, 44, 29, 49, 40, and a 30. Is it going to follow up that honey bun win with another one here? It would be nice. If you hear some racket in the background, that's Mrs. OG. That's Ping Ping getting her lunch and dinner ready. She always makes it and takes it with her. You know, because when she gets to her little nail salon, you know, she's trapped in there for the day. So, okay, we didn't go back to back. We still got a lot of tickets left to go. Come on. 35, 14, 27, 48, 20, and 22, and a 44. I don't know what I was saying there. I'm still about half asleep drinking my second cup of coffee while I'm doing this. I got a lot to do today. I'm just trying to. Believe it or not, finishing up on taxes for the business. Thirty-two, forty-one, twenty, twenty-six, twenty-three, and a seventeen. Ticket lucky number 13. 13. Get that money roll to win them all. That would be a nice one to go. 47. That'd have to be, 
you know, a pretty good win. Oops, I'm scratching too low with that one. Didn't matter anyways, we didn't win it. 31. Nope. 44. And I'll be honest with you, I, I do not enjoy driving to downtown Chattanooga. You know, and they've tried to revitalize it, don't get me wrong. It's just not an easy place to navigate, and they're still doing, like I said, a lot of construction in that area, which doesn't make it a fun thing to drive. It doesn't make it a fun driving experience, put it that way. And I hate to pay for parking. That's another one. 25, 45, 49, 36, 15, 47, or one of them lovely symbols. We need another symbol win. That would be nice. See what that cash symbol looks like. Twenty-six. Thirty-eight. It's not too late yet. Thirty-four. It's not over till we get to the last one. Thirteen. Can we get it here? Nineteen. Nope. Alright, I don't tighten up now. Forty-nine, forty-eight, thirty, forty-two, fifty, thirty-eight. big numbers on this one. The lowest one is 30. No 31. Don't have the 45. Don't need the 35. Forty-six. Do we get there? No. It's been five tickets since we've had a winner. I guess it's our turn to win now. 36, 30, 20, 33, 32, 13, 46. And I like this look at this set of numbers. It looks pretty good. But we don't have anything that ends in a seven. Got a bunch of things that see, got sixes and twos and threes and zeros. Last row 33. Nope, we need 23 and 13. 39, no. No 28. Don't have a 49. And no sweetness. Ticket number 17. 44, 50, 14, 21, 40, and a 30. So what do y'all think about these type of tickets? Put in the chat, you know, do you like these, you know, limited prize tickets, you know, that have better odds for the you know, intermediates are supposedly have better odds for the intermediate wins. And do you lot rather play a ticket where you've got a chance even being even a small chance to win one of them life changing amounts? Eleven. 37 and a 46. Wow, it's trying to get all the money back of that 100 to give us. It definitely wouldn't want to 
have been buying these tickets that were right behind that hundo. 33, 39, 50, 15, 17, 34. Come on, symbol. 48. We'll symbol hunt the one after this one. No 20s and no 40s. Let's see if we can win on that 50. Last row, 14, we got 15. 38, we got 39. No 40s, no 20s, so nothing on that one. Okay, it was ticket number 10 since we won that honey bun winner. And this is ticket number 19, so this will be ticket number 9 since that winner. Are we going to have nine losses in a row, or are we going to have, we're going to break the string with this one? Okay. You need to be another big winner if you're going to do that kind of mess. Going long stretches without a win. Come on, ticket. Thirty-eight. Forty. No forties. Twenty-eight. Last row. Sixteen. Dirty thirty. No. Twenty. And a forty-seven. Okay. So This will be ticket number 20, and our last winner was on ticket number 10. You would think the odds are pretty good that this is going to be a winner. Oh, I was going to symbol hunt this one, and I didn't do it. Crap. Shows you how good my memory is nowadays. Can't even remember something 30 seconds. We got us a winner. There we go. On Lordy Lordy. Did we get another spot? Forty three. Thirty four. Thirty one. And a twenty four. So just the forty. And I've got a feeling it's going to be a popo. Yep, there she blows. So we got us another Snickers. All right. Well, at least that broke our streak of losers. Now we need to get some several back to backs now that we are in the last third. Well, we need a bunch of winners in a row now. 15. I don't know if that's possible with this ticket or not. Come on, symbol. Let's see that bursty. And here I said I was going to symbol hunt the next one, and I didn't do it either. Crap. Well, I am determined to do the next one. Hey, we got a winner right there in Clutch Corner. We did go back to back. All right. Hey, we got money. I can see the money sign right there. It's another $20 double up. Okay. And what it'd be appropriate to symbol hunt on my lucky number ticket. Now, can we go three in a row? Well, look at me. Well, we need 11. Uh, James, I don't know about you sometimes. You know, 
sometimes this scratching you kind of go on auto drive got 22 on 22 and it's got a 5 there so it's probably a $25 winner let's see if it is no it's a 15 it's even worse okay so we didn't have the 11 so we know that's a no what's this one 45 there's a 46 nope 35 36 don't have it either 12 I thought that was going to be the 22 there for a second and just the bass backwards 21 and about 18 Hey, we did go back to back to back. We've got the 18 there. All right. And Miss Emma's lucky number 42. All right, so just the 18. It's got a little letter B there. What does that mean? It's a money back special. That is... A milk dud ticket. All right. Got to use both our new props. But hey, we'll take that winner. Let's go to ticket number 23. Thirty-seven twenty-seven. Forty-three. Seventeen. 48 or 50. Come on, we need another good win here. Can we make it four in a row? Last row, 40. We got 50. 24. No, no 13, no 15, and 36. We needed a 37. So that breaks our streak of winners. So let's, let's see if we can start a new one on ticket 24 here. 39, 40, 38, 20, 33, and a 29. So we got a big target at 38, 39, and 40. No teenagers, though. We got 20 and 40, but no 30. 32 is a neighbor. Richard Petty again. Let me get the other zero we don't need. Last row. 48. 21. 25. And an 18. Ticket 25. A 28, 38, 45, 44, 46, 36. Okay, so 44, 45, 46. So we need four sixes and eights and with a five thrown in. Four, five, six, or eight. If we don't end in that, we don't need it. And we have no teenagers too. Four, five, six, or eight. 24, no. 28 is our lowest. Don't have the 35. Thirty-four. Nope. Four, five, six, or eight. Okay. That was an easy one to check though. And then there were four. Get 26. Come on, we need more. 
46, 25, 48, 20, 30, 26. Come on, we didn't have but one symbol win. You can at least make this thing fun having some symbol wins. 40, we got 20, 30. Forty-eight is our biggest, and that's our. I don't know what I was going to say there. I lost my train of thought. I don't normally scratch tickets this early, but I got a lot going on today. Twenty-three. I told you I'm usually an, I'm not a morning person. Twenty-eight. Fifteen. And twenty-nine in clutch corner. No. Three to go. Ticket 27. 11, 47, 32, 37, 40, and 38. So we got this lonely 11, then the next thing is a 32. So nothing between 11 and 32. 44, nope. Don't have 50. 41, that's a neighbor. 46, so is that. 48, Thirty-four. Thirty-nine. and 31. Our pen ultimate ticket, ticket number 28. Again, apologize for the last minute change of plans. I hope y'all have had a good time chatting during the premiere. That's the closest thing I could do to substitute the live. And I wish I was in the chat chatting with you guys and gals. 42, 13, we got 14, 15, 16, 41, 34, nope, 38, we got 39, 47, 32, 30, 30, and a 24. All right, our last ticket, and we are going to symbol hunt this one. Don't forget, James. Okay. Come on, let's go out with a winner. Go out with a symbol win. Well, where you at, symbol? We gotta have at least one more symbol win in this pack. You would think. And you know we gotta check. As I got five again. All right, so no symbols. So let's see if we can find the winner. 44. I see 43. No, 44. 25. No, just a 24. Do we have a dozen? I see a bass backwards. But no 12. Lordy, lordy, do we have 40. We got a 20, we got a 50, but no 40. 23. We got a 22 and 24. We got the goal post, but we don't have the 23. So our last one is starting with a 3. So let's see what our possibilities are. 500? Yeah, we'll take that. 400, that'd be a nice one. 20, double up. A snicker. A thousand. 40 bucks. 400 bucks. Okay, so we got a lot of possibilities. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven shots at it. So what do we got? 
36. Hey, we did. We are going out with a snicker winner. All right. Yeah, as soon as I uncovered it, as I said, that's probably going to be it. Okay. But hey, I think we did all right. You know, nothing. You know, we had the chance to have a really good book. But then it crapped out right after that one really good ticket. And then went through a stretch with 10, with 10, I think, nine losers in a row. So let me back it out here. So we got that ticket winner there. Another ticket winner there for 20. Another one there for 30. Then we had, count them, one, two, three $20 winners for 90. And then we had the Milk Dud winner that puts us at 100. And then that glorious $100 winner puts us at 200. So I've got a feeling that $115 book is possible with this ticket. Because this is definitely an outlier. And if we hadn't had that, then we'd had a $100 return. But all in all, not bad for a book of Tennessee tickets. 300 out, 215 back. Folks, I do appreciate all of you coming in here and watching this today, spending part of your day with us. And don't forget, give us a little bit of love. Show us that thumbs up, and that would help us out quite a bit. And if you're not a friend of the channel, all you have to do is wait. We're going to have an end screen come up that's going to have that channel logo right there. All you have to do is click it with your mouse or your finger, whichever applies. And that will magically make you a friend of the channel and don't cost you a penny. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the reoccurring members to the OG Fellowship. Your generous support is greatly appreciated. But until we get to see all of you lovely folks again, y'all keep searching, stay lucky, and like we say here on the channel, bye-bye for now.